So I wanted to talk a little bit about investments and striking when the iron's hot, following your gut. If you've been following along with some of the Roaring Kitty and GameStop stuff, you might know what I'm talking about. And maybe you've been feeling a lot of this and can really relate. Don't take nothing I'm saying as any type of investment advice because it is not. I just want to let you know kind of how I've done investing and how I have made a little money on the side. Mostly this video is not about investing. It's really more about being quick to react and having funds that you can invest and the importance of being quick to react. First thing I'll say is I didn't make any money in the GameStop trading with Roaring Kitty or anything like that. I didn't even invest in GameStop. I didn't do it back first time it happened and I didn't do it just recently probably won't do it this time around at all i will show you an example where i did invest here's some of my investments i made with tesla back in the day i'm not at my desk so i can't remember right off the top of my head what it was but i'll pull up a screenshot here so you can see I believe i invested it was ten thousand dollars into tesla and i knew it was it was super hyped up the stock wasn't that matching the hype at the time not in my opinion and i really had a gut feeling about it going up and that's one thing i want to stress in this video is really following your gut and not listening to a lot of the hype online just kind of go with what you feel is right that might not be the best investment advice but it's always worked for me that comes with selling websites that comes with a lot of investment and thing like and different things like that so i invested i think it was ten thousand dollars and when i sold it was 50 or sixty thousand that i had made and here's another little screenshot of my overall account return uh, investing this way and i've also and i don't typically recommend investing in that style or that strategy uh, it's much safer for most people to just put money in over time have a, a fixed amount that you can invest month over month and put it into something like VTI, uh, Vanguard Total Index Fund, which you can capture a lot of the US market, things like that, and just watching your portfolio grow. That's also great. Uh, I did that for a while. Uh, like after I sold my website, I put in, I think it was, it might've been 150,000. And I think it grew, I made $30,000 that year, just uh, letting it sit in the market. But some of the points I wanna stress when it comes to investing is, it's important to have liquidity and cash laying around. So when investments come along, that you can jump on those investments. That's not always the stock market. Sometimes that's real estate, sometimes that's websites, sometimes that's you know a really cheap pound of cocaine that your friend offered you. Have some cash laying around to be able to pick up great buys when you can. And if you don't have cash laying around to invest, then you're not gonna be able to quick be quick to react. You have to be ready, you have to have some cash laying around. I'm, I'm a big believer of being invested and keeping your money invested and letting it grow, but I also am a big believer of keeping um, a chunk set aside that is strictly for catching those investments that have huge returns. Um, they, they don't come along often, but when they do, it's always paid off for me to be ready to catch them. Always keep your emotions out of investing. Don't get emotional over none of it and never risk what you can't afford to lose, especially on your more riskier investments like these people that are investing in GameStop right now. Super risky. The market price does not reflect anything with the company. It is strictly, um, it's almost meme stock at this point. If you've seen the movie Dumb Money, you know what I'm talking about. It was made after Roaring Kitty. A great watch too, by the way, if you haven't seen it, I recommend go watching that. Never risk what you can't lose, but you should be quick to react and it's important to strike, strike when the iron's hot. So investing in the stock market is not for everyone and that's okay too. There's other ways to invest your money. There's real estate, land, property, um, all kinds of other ways to invest. Stock market's not the only one. Websites, also great if you know what you're doing. But like I said, never get into an asset class that you don't understand. That's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.